El Nafeza for Contemporary Art and Development has come up with a way to convert rice straw into high-quality paper products that can be sold to stationary outlets. Launched in 2005, El Nafeza spent three years training their staff before they were confident enough to work alone. We take the rice straw bills, which are completely dry, soak them in water from two days to a week, and after that we put them on our stove between two days to a week. After that, we begin the milling phase, and of course it goes through many cleaning phases. It's milled, then turned into fiber, and then put in frames, depending on the size we want, A4 or A3, and then put on the wall to dry. And their effort is a big boost to environmental conservation. We protect the environment in a way, because we make the paper out of rice straws, which for more than 15 years now has been an environmental problem. We have the dark cloud, which is mainly caused by the burning of the rice straw. It's because the factories that we have in Egypt stopped taking rice straw, and we now instead import paper pulp, which comes from China and is made out of rice straw. So we must protect what we have, the skills we have, our factories and our environment. One of the biggest challenges was getting their products into the local market. After the revolution, the market became slower, so when an employee quit for any reason, we didn't hire a replacement. Because we have not had funds since 2009, we depend solely on the marketing of our products, and that is since 2009. So this has put a huge burden on the NGO as it tries to cover its expenses from rent to salaries and everything else. But despite the numerous challenges, El Nafeza has been successful in exporting its products to Germany over the past six years and hopes to expand into other European markets. But perhaps what is unique about this non-governmental organization initiative is that it hires people living with disabilities to help improve their lives. El Nafeza regularly holds workshops for young people, in particular deaf-mute girls, who are often sidelined in the workforce, hoping to throw them a lifeline in a society struggling with a lack of employment opportunities, and in turn also keep ancient techniques alive. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.